Today I'm gonna to show you how you can operate Zoom and at the same time have kids access an app where they can split their screen. Ways that this would work is if you wanna play a Kahoot with the class on Zoom and then they can split their screen so they can still see your Zoom page and Kahoot at the same time. Another way this might work is if you need them to log on to their everyday math. So like for example, if they have a textbook that's only online and you're on Zoom with them, they can split their screen and pull up the app, or if it's on a website, they can pull that up and be able to see you on the Zoom and also be able to access the app or the website for their textbook. But since Kahoot is way more fun, I'm gonna show you how to do that today. But all of this applies for those uh, other apps too. So for example, on my computer, this is me on Zoom. Okay, so I'm sitting on Zoom and I just shared my screen so that my Kahoot is up. And you can see this would be like the students I had. They can see my Kahoot. And I click on it and I decide we're gonna play Kahoot. We're gonna do the teach version. We're doing classic and I'm ready to go. So the student here goes, great, I'm ready now to play Kahoot. But I need to load Kahoot on my page. So they're just going to use their finger and lightly scroll up and find the Kahoot app down here. If it's not there, have them click out, and I made directions for kids, you can send the video to them. They will find the Kahoot app, hold on it, and they push it down here into their finder so that it's down there. That way they have it. So we're gonna go back into Zoom. Now I know Kahoot is in my finder. So I scroll up, I push on Kahoot, and I slide it up here on my screen. And now they have Zoom here and the Kahoot small here. So they can hit enter the game pin. If I type it in. I think I'm on name generator right now just to make it go faster. But obviously you can have them log in using their name. Uh, and then when you go to play, what's cool about this, I suggest reading the question to the kids. That way they hear it because it does block their screen a little bit. However, there's a little toggle button here at the top where they can slide this around so they can see and read the question and then pull it back up. Okay, then they would answer and move forward. So that's how they get that little screen off to the side. Now, they can swipe out like that, it's gone. Uh, and so let's say you play a Kahoot and now you want them to go onto everyday math. You can scroll up. Um, I have everyday math sitting down here on my finder. I showed you how they can move things onto their finder. They can pull that up. Okay, and then obviously you've got to log in, but then they have access to that there. So they can do this really with any app that they want. They can scroll up and open any app. So if they wanted to open up their email because you need them to check their email to get a file or something like that, they can do all of that directly on this as a split screen. If you want to split your screen in an app other than Zoom, you can actually make it so that they split it in half. So what you do is you pull up that finder at the bottom, pick the app you want to use, let it pull up to the side, and then you'll use the toggle at the top to kind of just push the app over to the right, and then that's going to put the two screens next to each other. And you can see if you click the spot in the middle, it's gonna allow you to move this screen back and forth. So you can see there's like a little white bar right there that you can use to move back and forth. Uh, and then you can also go down and change the screen if you need to and then adjust them accordingly.